It's a perfect day for a timeless tale. Good morning. Five hours before showtime. Hi, hi. I'm Kathy. Kathy Sanger. Oh, stop. Go on the stage. And a dozen dedicated dance parents assemble a familiar set on an unfamiliar stage. Right now we got a blank wall. Uh, and that's going to be turning into the Kingdom of Sweets. we got to kick it back. They usually perform at a high school. They usually don't erect the set the day of the show. But this afternoon, the Peachtree City School of Dance will perform the Nutcracker like every other year, even though it's so not like every other year. We've had to overcome so much to be able to do this. It's a, kind of a Christmas gift to our community. The local dance community embraced the school and this show. Dozens of dancers embraced the art and each other. COVID-19 forced them all to adapt. We closed up our studio in March. We went on online with Zoom classes. Um, I moved the furniture out of my living room and taught in my living room. Kathy continued classes that were as much a ritual as the Nutcracker. She reopened her building over the summer with strict precautions. She raised money to sponsor students who couldn't afford tuition. We had over 100 families that needed some help. We just feel like if a child has a passion to do, uh, to do this performing art, to dance, uh, we're going to find a way to make it happen. This is tradition. In the Moore family, uh, they all dance. We plan everything around this. We put our tree up early because we know it's nutcracker season. This nutcracker season always seemed distant in the face of pandemic stress. And reading the emails of, okay, well, we're laying off this or we're laying off that, you know, it was it was fear. Was there ever a concern that the girls would have to give up dance? No, because I knew that Kathy would not allow that to happen. I would click on Zoom and I would say, how are you doing? And they would say, we hate coronavirus. <laughs> I'm having a tough day. It was our lifeline. It was our connection with one another. Just as school went on, so would its signature show. Normally, we close curtains at intermission. What we call scene change is going to happen in front of the audience. This year, the stage is a grid. This year, the dancers will sit in the audience. This year, the audience will see its own work reflected. One of the moms made masks. The little mice have little mice masks. Everybody's jumped in. They, they said, what do you need done? What can we do to help? The parents that have missed so many things, they get to sit and see their kids and they get to applaud them. And that is something that was taken away. I need everybody to listen really carefully, okay? 15 minutes away. It's called circle time. Kathy gathers the dancers. Even when it's a 2020 Nutcracker, we have our traditions, <laughs> right? And you all are what makes this tradition stay alive. Good afternoon, everyone. For the next hour. Today, audience, you are a part of our magical world. The tradition etches another notch. A familiar plot unfolds on a socially distanced stage. It's not complicated. Just a timeless tale in tumultuous times. It's all about finding a way to come together to have something positive happen. And that's what our community is doing. Thank you again, and have a very blessed Thanksgiving.